Hello guys, today I will um, go through all editors that I used for front-end development and what uh, editor I can suggest for you. The editors that I used are Sublime Text, Atom, WebStorm and Vim. Let's start with Sublime Text. It is free, but uh, you will see a pop-up message when uh, you are using it and saving files. And uh, it will say that you are using not licensed uh, editor from time to time. It's uh, quite stable, it doesn't lag. It can open big files and have a big variety of different packages. And as for me, it's quite stable, because it was developed long ago. The main reason for me why I stopped using it, because it's not developed uh, so fast anymore and new builds appears once in six months. Atom is an editor of uh, GitHub team. It has a very big community and it's fully open source and it really improves each day. The good part about it is uh, that it's very comfortable for front-end developers as uh, it is built in uh, CSS and JavaScript and it's very easy to create your own packages and themes there. For me, when I used it, the main problems were that uh, some packages, uh, even most popular, sometimes crashes with errors, which is not that good. And the second problem is that uh, uh, Atom can't open big files at all, it just hangs and if you try to open, for example, build a JavaScript file in your editor, it will hang completely and you need to restart it. The third problem for me that I'm missing a lot uh, go to definition functionality. Atom has some packages with basic implementation, but they are not um, good and uh, you can't use it on some good level. The next editor that I tried uh, a lot and I like it a lot is WebStorm. Uh, it is a fully EDE, um, but the First problem that you need to buy a license for it. You get here a lot of features out of box without installing any additional packages. The main features for me as a front-end developer were linting, go to definition, which really works good. It, uh, the editor also works good with intendation and uh, sh sometimes shows what can be simplified in the code. The reason why I stopped using it are that it lagged a lot on my machine and uh, at home and at work I have 8 GB RAM and SSD and it really lagged a lot. Uh, of course I don't run just WebStorm on my machine alone. I had a lot of other stuff like VirtualBox and so on. And um, at work I also see a lot of guys who are using WebStorm or PHPStorm and it lags a lot while typing or on autocomplete. So I really suggest this editor, but only if you have good machine. And the, th the second thing that I hate in WebStorm that it uh, indexes the project and uh, sometimes it starts doing it uh, or when I'm typing, for example. And then that moment autocomplete stops working, which is really annoying. As for me, this EDA is really cool, but you really need strong good machine for it. And the last one, what I tried is Vim. I am tried it long ago and I am using it now. It works super fast for me. It has LinkedIn, go to functionality, autocomplete and all features that I need. And uh, I really can't suggest it to people because it requires a lot of time to get used to it, to configure it, to learn uh, all commands that you need and uh, you just can't start uh, writing code in 10 minutes after installing. But uh, in the long term it will help you a lot. I hope my experience uh, will help you to choose the editor which uh, you want to use and which what uh, you will feel yourself comfortable.